Bad dog. Look at it. <laughs> so back to um, back to dingoes. The Brindabella colour you said, of course, that comes from her grandmother. It comes from a yeah. grandmother on this one. But yeah. um, what about the Brindabella Rangers dogs? Brindabella Rangers dogs, which was above the above the uh, properties and the old Canberra station. The dingoes around there were hybridised probably a hundred years ago. The only thing we can think of is that it was a Staffy Terrier got in there somewhere because nothing else carried the same markings apart from a Staffy Terrier and this has very heavily influenced the local um, hybrid hmm. dingo. So it's part dingo, part staffy, because it still carries the staffy colours, which you can see on this right. girl. And so, hence, although it's common in the Brindabella Ranges, it's not the dingo colour. It's not a no. dingo colour, and it doesn't exist anywhere other than in that general area. <clears throat> so, so if we look at um, half and yes, yes half sta and standard standard dingo colours are the apricot of half. The apricot is 15% of the population all over Australia. Misty, shut up! The gold is somewhere round about... Uh, the gold varies from the very rich gold to the gold that you can see on, on Bandit. Okay, so Bandit's the gold colour. Bandit's gold. Half's the... Half's an apricot. Yep. The two rare colours are the black and tan and the white. Those so, two between them make up about 2%. So do you, have a, do you have a black and tan? I have no black and tan. Um, he carries black and tan gene, but he, he hasn't, got a, hasn't got a female that will produce black and tan. And the black and tan, is that a patchy colour or is it like a brindabella or is no, it like... a black and tan like a kelpie. Black, tan and white usually. what they call a tricolour kelpie.